We're talking about curing cancer, curing Alzheimer's disease. Right now we can't, and tomorrow we will, because you... These diseases we conquer trial and error by making petri dishes, thousands of petri dishes, putting them, the chemical and the germ inside them, and simply crossing your fingers that one of these petri dishes will signal a cure for that disease. We still do it this way, trial and error. When now with a quantum computer, we can simulate the molecule. We're talking about chemistry without chemists. So you, you will have full information of the atoms and molecules in the interaction of every petri dish and you could do it for billions of petri dishes on the computer and it'll pop out what the right remedy is right. for the disease. The, so quantum computers can solve the problem of food. Take a look at fertilizer. Nitrogen exists in the air. You take nitrogen out of the air, make fertilizer out of it. It takes a huge gigantic factory to do this. Gigantic, billions of dollars to make fertilizer out of the air. Quantum computers, we think, will do it like that. We're talking about a second revolution. Wait, 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 wait. A quantum computer may crack the problem as to which bubble created the Big Bang.